Hello and welcome to the first ever Testing Tuesdays video. My name is Lewis Lovelock, I'm the BDD and Testing Specialist here at ClearVision and today, as you might have guessed by the title of the video, we're going to talk about BDD, Behaviour Driven Development. So, right off the bat, let's get one thing clear, let's bust the biggest myth about BDD and that is, BDD is not testing. It comes before testing, it comes before development, it comes before a single bit of code has been written. It is about sitting down with everyone involved in development and writing down and recording the, beh the agreed behaviours of the software before it's even begun coding. So generally you have your, what you call your three amigo sessions. So that's your tester, your developer and your product owner. These are generally kind of the three areas of the development team. You're going to sit down and you're going to agree upon those behaviours. And the general idea behind behaviour driven development is this quote here. That's not what I asked for. It's to stop the customer or the stakeholder saying that once you deliver your product. You could have spent months developing the software, you hand it to them and they go, well that's not what I asked for and it's a complete waste of time. And I also like this quote which is to deliver high quality software that meets the desired business outcomes for the first time. So you sit down and you want to record your behaviours, but how do you actually record that? So generally, typically recorded into Jira onto the user story. I'm not going to pitch to you Jira, everyone understands Jira, most people use it. On the story, you then write down the acceptance criteria in what we call the Gherkin language. So Gherkin is for cucumber and it is brilliant because it's near enough English. And that's good because you might have non-technical people in your team and they might want to read and understand the behaviours. Anyone can come in and read that. They don't have to have coding knowledge to read that and understand our behaviour. So generally your syntax for Gherkin is you have your feature and then your scenario. So our scenario here is that we are running a hotel and our loyalty member is going to check in. So a loyalty member is someone who frequently comes to our hotel. So we are saying, first of all, given, that's our first syntax, a guest has a room reservation. That's simple enough, they have a reservation. And second syntax, the guest is a loyalty member because we're talking about loyalty members in our scenario. When the guest checks in, then they are given free Wi-Fi. It's standard in our hotel that loyalty members get free Wi-Fi. We can then vote upon that. So everyone in our team, everyone over here, can log in to JIRA and they can vote to say they agree with this behaviour, they are happy with it. They can raise questions if they want and we can, through workflows, we can stop this passing on to be exported for coding if there are questions or queries raised against it. But once everyone is happy, we can then download this as a dot .feature file for Cucumber. In your IDE, you're then going to write your step definitions file, which actually contains the code to make this run. And this is moving on to more of a TDD development, if you wish. And then we're going to glue those together with what you call your glue code. Once that's done, you can then export that for automated acceptance tests. And that's really where we start to bring it to testing. After we've agreed upon the behaviours of our software, we go through this transition, we record it, we vote it, we are happy, we make sure we record everything for our software, then we can start writing our code and we can start automating and testing. So that's the biggest myth about BDD. If you go into BDD to begin with, with a testing mindset, using it as a test tool to generate automated acceptance tests, you're going to eventually fail. You are not doing it correctly. You're not in the right mindset. It is a culture change that is needed within your business, much like agile is a culture change. You don't just buy Jira and then suddenly you are, you are agile. It's about the culture change of your development and behavior driven development is the same thing. So thank you for watching. If you wanted more information or you want to have a chat about behavior driven development, I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, have a good day.